Hello and welcome to Little Sue. So I'm coming on today with a quick project share. Now this is something that I have been really wanting to make for quite some time now. So I've got a list on YouTube of makes that I would love to make. Um, but I don't know how to just yet. And this specific item was inspired by Crafty Devotions Liz Benavads. Uh, I will try and link her the video that inspired me to make what I'm about to show you in the description box and you can go over and have a look yourself. Now she makes these up as kits but unfortunately I live in the UK and she doesn't actually post to the UK. So a couple of the items that I needed was these gorgeous silver hangers and some pretty big lobster clasps. Uh, one of the things that she does do is it's like a dress. So if I just show you mine. <laughs> so this is the one that I have made. So it is. And she makes them sort of similar. Oh, is that not focusing? There we go. She makes these sort of... She's got quite a few different ones that she makes. And they're all different. They're all unique and everything. And I really, really wanted to get one of her kits. But because she doesn't post to the UK, I had to try and work out how to do this myself. So this is the one I have made. Now, she uses a thing called a dress form type thing. And she does sell these in her shops as like packs of five, I think it is, or six. And you can, you can buy these separate. She cuts them out of fabric to make the body part. So that's that part here. And what I did is I originally cut mine out in felt to start off with. But when I started layering up my fabrics and laces and that, I didn't like how the white, because it was a white felt, and I didn't like how the white, the felt, was shown through. So I ended up covering it in this sort of a dusky pink satin material. It's very, very soft. Um, I've just fabric glued it on. Now, that's why you can see all these, like, peg marks uh, from where I fabric glued it on and then just pegged it together because I knew this was going to be hidden underneath so nobody was going to see it. Then I've used some pink tulle that was already ruffled for me and I received this as a gift from a swap that I think I did as the shabby chic flowers that I made at the beginning of January. And then I've got, I've just received these from AliExpress, which I was quite excited to be just getting. So this is a beautiful laces and they're like three to 10 centimeters wide and you get five yards, one yard of each lace. And it comes as like a variety pack. So you don't know which laces you're getting. So I was really happy when I received it and seen the laces that were in it. So this was one of them. And it's a beautiful off-white. So I've used that underneath my main one, which is a creamy colour. Right here. So this is a creamy colour and I loved the beautiful detail on it. When I put this one on top, I felt as if there was too much pink shown. So that's why I've added the white one underneath as well. And then on top here, this was uh, like a flower trim. So this was this flower trim. And I basically cut off all the little sec, all these big flowers I cut off and then I cut off each section so that I could use them down the sides here. Just as some extra added detail. And I've left them dangling down. This pink 
trim I received and a swap as well, but I can't remember who sent me it. I want to say it was Sarah of Sarah's Shabby Chic Creations, but I can't remember. I'm not sure. This part here is another part of this, and it's actually this section right here. Oh, there we go. So it's this section right here with a flower attached to it, because I thought that would make a beautiful collar piece. And then I've used some tan coloured lace just over it to give it some decoration. So that's the front of the dress and the back of the dress. I've used another one of the dangle bits from the flower lace, but I've also used this beautiful big sort of gem centre, this sort of big gem piece. Uh, it's very, very sparkly as you can see. I absolutely love it, but I sort of wanted something quite big to cover up the join and the pink trim that I've used. Sorry if you can hear Jack screaming, he's just got upset because he just got in trouble for something. So that is my dress form that I have made. Um, now I'm quite excited to have done this. It's something that's been on my list of makes that I really wanted to do for some time now. And because I've just had absolutely no motivation the past couple of weeks, I decided to go through the videos and pick something. Okay, sorry about that. I needed to go and deal with Jack. He is sitting right next to me now being very quiet. So I don't know where I was. Um... I think I mentioned about me having the list on face, uh, YouTube about stuff that I'd like to make and I was quite, I went through it last night and decided to pick something that I really, really wanted to try and that I knew I had the stuff for. And this dress popped up and I was quite excited because I knew I had all the items. I just had to find a way to cut out this tiny little dress form. <laughs> Now, that took a while to work out the sort of measurements for that, but I eventually got it, and this is my finished result. So, this, I'm going to be sharing this on my Facebook, on one of the Facebook groups that I'm on. Now, this is going off to someone. Uh, it's not part of a swap, but I... So I wanted her to have it because she's supported me for the past couple of weeks now through everything that I've been going through. And I wanted her to have it, um, but she doesn't know it's coming. So this video won't be going up until after she has received it because I want it to be a surprise. Even though she will be seeing the picture of it on Facebook, I still want it to be a surprise for her. So as the, she doesn't know it's coming, basically. So I hope you like my dress form charm that I've made. Um, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And I will see you all again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.